Sorry, Wilson. Don't shoot for fun. I respect that. Well, see ya. See you around. What was that?
Okay? Don't you take a vow against chip and implants? Of course we do. You think I did this to myself? I apologize I cannot bow in greeting. I am still adjusting to my situation. Hold on. Somebody forced you? Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? How about your brother? He's still with them? Yes. I was first. Then, they were trying to decide how. How to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please, help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like... like I have. Fine. I'll help. But just so you know, things might get ugly. Maelstrom doesn't mess around. There must be some other way. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. A monk in distress. They should include this in your epic. What are you gonna do? Cross your legs and meditate till they drop dead? Wish you'd drop dead.
plantation is against my belief. Please, I do not want them. Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So... What are you doing here? What happened? Was walking by and caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. Not with the truths that your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. Thank you for coming to my rescue. But my life is not worth the death of others. One good deed does not justify the suffering you have sown. You have committed evil in its purest form. I liked your brother more. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First I must catch my breath. And then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Who knew his monks were a grateful little brat? Maybe you should apologize for saving this Ganic ass too. Tired of assholes saying there are good and bad people in this world. There are only good choices and shitty ones. Must have made a good one, because why else would Karma leave all this sweet gear just right for the picking? I like where you're going with this.
Like to see what you can do for me. Plenty. I'm sure. the cred for the helmet job. Fine. Anders Hellman, flick me the deeds. Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. I hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while, either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Let's see what you got. Your helmet's not on any payroll. Not a.
officially anyway, but he does pop up in Chianti's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. Kang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Think you can track him down? Getting a mark on him ought to be easy. Actually grabbing him? Another story entirely. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transport stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. Huh. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan T. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm -hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look. Their backup hustle will be on us. But right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. Dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. Even tracking that AV will be a bitch. Familiar with the type. Saw legacy models flying around during the war. Mammoth, but they're quick. Plus, they pack next-gen defenses. Can't take pot shots at it, not even with serious firepower. Just won't work. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them. Or who can at least improvise on a theme. You're so wasting Nate, my time. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her, not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Navin Hellman. Your operation? Your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Pick up a pace. Can't be trusted if her clan banished her. Sorry, just not willing to pay you for help like that. Actually, she walked away. Said it was about the family, its future, nomad ideals, blah, 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 blah. I stopped listening a few words in. Thought you preferred to know who you're dealing with. I know enough. Besides, when someone starts spouting ideals, it's probably about something else. Power, usually. Fortunately, not my biz, not yours. Pan Am's capable and stands to help you. That's all you need to know. Why's Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She ran into a hitch. Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Hey. Guess I can try to help her, but if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Fine, let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Uh, finally. All clear. Thanks. Good luck. Hey, what's here? 
and puke. Couldn't care less. Got a job for you. Good. But I'm overextended at the moment. With the merch in your car? Getting him back? I can help with that. The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. Too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Yeah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or... Maybe ask them both. I saw a weird image out on the street. Seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? Grab the scan, take a look. Tarot. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. And they say I've got my head in the clouds. Earth It'd be a little be... easier if this higher power learned to be direct. Well, the world is a maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right, great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand from a power I know nothing about? I'd start by looking for more of them. The tarot describes a road. So go down it. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Look for more images. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Oh, finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. Dunno. Come on back when you've found more. I'll help you decipher what you've seen. What? 
How, how is that even possible? Old wheels are up and running. Listen, don't laugh, but I've been seeing some weird shit around town. Like murals or something. But no, they're not real. Uh, just a Kuroshi blimp. Could take a look. No. No, images are too complex for a blip. It's like they're symbols. That case is the biochip. Brain can't handle the data overload. Either that or it's reached the cortex. Can you do anything? Nope. Better find a way to get rid of that chip. <laughs> <laughs> 